What it do, homies? We're back with some more Shmoya Ho. And honestly, I think it's been a minute since I've seen some videos by him. I'm so surprised that he's still making them. Uh, I grew up with him. Hide your kids, hide your wife, fire to blast outside the house. All those good songs. But it looks like we got something else here. Biden versus Trump. And we got Weird Al on this. So this is about to be glorious already. Let's go ahead and shut up, turn it up. He is six foot five and only 223 pounds. Or 235 pounds. And but by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf with you if you carry your own bag. You can do it. What's the biggest ride when there's a six handicap of all? I was an eight handicap. Yeah. You see, yeah. But I have, you know how many? How, I've what, seen you swing. I know you swing. I just won two club championships, not even senior, two regular club championships. To do that, you have to be quite smart and you have to be able to hit the ball a long way. And I do it. He doesn't do it. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. He challenged me to a golf match. Do you ever get the feeling you've been somewhere before? He can't hit a ball 50 yards. Uh, I think I'm in very good shape. Anybody? Nobody? Just me! Let's right. not act like children. And by the way... <laughs> brought to you by Juice Burger! Juice Burger. So juicy. Eat it. Eat burger. You love burger. Pay money for burger. Allegations unproven. You're not sexy if you don't burger. No burger, bad girl. Juice burger King burger. And we're back with a lot more democracy, a whole lot more Juice Burger, and a little bit of private television networks making money off of our nation's turmoil. And a one, and a two, and a four, and a seven. Now it's time for the first question. We're the richest country, but if you're living in a shed, when does the economy trickle down through the corrugated roof above your head? He's the only president other than Herbert Hoover who's had lost more jobs than he had when he began. All he had to do was try to put things back together again. For all Americans. The jobs went down and then they bounced back and he's taking credit if he can do that. We're the greatest economy in the history of our country. He's the worst president in history by far. I didn't have sex with the boys. Our nation has eight million jobs and... What you? Oh, you guys. Now, Shmoyo, he, Shmoyo Ho, he has a lot of classics. He has a lot of classics, man. And honestly, this is kind of shaping up to be sounding like one of those videos that I grew up with. Oh, man, we're in for a treat here. In history by far, I didn't have sex with the boys. No. Our nation has 8 million jobs and clean energy. Can we double it, guys, before the sea levels rise? And I'm roommates with a manatee. I want immaculate clean water. And I want air that's clean. And we had it. We had H2O, all forms of energy. He is on claiming that clean water can do a damn thing. The only existential threat to humanity is climate change. I think I'm getting deja vu. Every single thing he says is a lie. Just me and the same to do. I've never seen anybody lie like this guy. Have we fallen under a wizard's curse to suffer deja vu? But worse, just, just manage a complainer. My friend, the low hurt. I think I'm getting deja vu. You have to be quite smart. Who signed off on this reboot? Having sex with the porn star. America, I guess. Well, you know, see, I'm not the smartest, especially when it comes to politics and everything. So I won't sit here and pretend that I know anything that I'm talking about. I am mostly here because I do like Shmoya Ho and I do like Weird Al. And I saw the thumbnail and I clicked it. OK, but could we be blamed for this? Right. For electing these two people to come up here and have this uh, debate, shadow hands that move on the move or something like that. I'm not too sure. You let me know. Me and you who made this deja vu. Remember last election, things got completely unhinged. How about a normal one this time? Cause I think coups are kind of cringe. He encouraged those folks that there for three hours. Didn't do a damn thing. Everybody was saying they're gonna be there. I can see what was happening. You could feel it and you could feel it. There's a lot of people coming. This guy is responsible for his age to do something. We've waited long enough. No more dawdling or delays. Let's go out with a singer. Hit me with your best catchphrase. We're going to make a failing nation great again. Putin, Kim Jong-un, they don't respect him. For three and a half years, we're living in hell. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. No president's ever spoken like that. We have the most of an alley cat. This guy has increased your tax. The economy is flat on his back. Um, dealing with everything we have to do with uh oh no look if 
Oh, no. We finally beat Medicare. That tracks. Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so I only caught, I caught like maybe 30 or 40 minutes of this election. It kind of came on right when it was around time for me to start recording my reactions because then I had to go to bed to get to work and everything. Um, and I think I might have turned it off. I'm not sure when that happened because the next morning it was all over Twitter. So I have seen that. Ooh, man, it's going to get memed into oblivion. I, I already know. It already is. I don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. Especially this part right here. what he said either. Look. And this ain't a good no. sequel like Paddington 2. It's more like we're watching the Temple of Doom. No, this ain't the Empire Strikes Back. It's the time you tried to reheat your Big Mac. This ain't even Fast and Furious 6. It's more like that Home Alone we got on Netflix. I think Olivia, it's more like that Home Alone. There was a Home Alone on Netflix? Oh, just by the, oh, should I watch that? He must be joking. This photo, this just tell me this ain't the actual cover art because the hair looks this just looks bad. It's gotta be fake, yes. I'm a yeah. Alone we got on Netflix. I think Olivia Rodrigo would agree. This is even worse than your ex eating strawberry ice cream. No, this ain't the Lord of the Rings, the two towers. This is Shrek forever after when I stole two hours of my life. It's not the dark night. It's my high school production of Greece, and I'm the only guy because the football coach wouldn't let anyone miss a practice day. And if I do recall, they finished last anyway. Now I'm on stage doo whopping by myself. That's when someone in the back row screams, I'm in hell. I feel lower than dirt, smaller than nothing. And on the next day, my junior prom date dumped me. all been there right <laughs> anyway that's what this feels like never heard so much malarkey in my whole life oh. joe our country is being destroyed as you and i sit up here and waste a lot of time on this debate i think i'm getting deja vu every single thing turns a lie just me and the same to do i've never seen anybody like hey, this guy. i'm gonna tell you something man weird al is oh, man, he's never gonna lose it that was that was phenomenal from the singing to his acting Weird Al is always going to be that guy. I don't care what anybody tells me, man. I'm so Just glad he's still making music. I've never seen anybody lie like this guy. Have we fallen under a wizard's curse to suffer deja vu, but worse? Just managed to complain. My frontal lobe hurts. Ow! Deja vu, but Wait a minute. You know what? I was just reading about uh, Project 2025. Is that what this is referencing? Unless one of them, huh? I, I just read it. I briefly read over it. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what it is, but I did read some stuff. So, but I'm not knowledgeable in it. So we go. We go. We won't keep moving. Just hurts. Ow! I think I'm getting deja vu. You have to be quite smart. Who signed off on this reboot? So we did a great job. Perfect. All made sense. <laughs> totally normal. <laughs> we should get together in four years and do this again. <laughs> that was great. Yo -ho. Yo -ho, the yo Thanks to you, you know, one thing that I really like about this, the Deja Vu, but worse, also, um, let me know something. Did he make a song a while ago called Deja Vu? Right, because then that would be funny. Because then this song happening again, the same stuff happening over again. But what I love about it is that this songs tend to take a neutral stance, right, uh, regarding this. And I think the stance they took is kind of, it's kind of like the stance that a lot of us agree on. That for, or at least for me, right, I can't speak for everybody else. That the debate was a, was just a little bit hard for me to follow. But then again, I'm not really into politics, but it seemed like it was pretty neutral, kind of making fun of the whole entire situation, as opposed to like leaning more left and leaning more right, especially with the comment section that they had uh, down here uh, below. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments. All right. Dave's out.